This video gives some advice on how teams might best work together. What is a team? It's a group of people with a joint purpose. Why do we use teams? Well, we're sharing expertise, we can share the work, we can communicate, but the teams must work effectively together. The purpose benefits from the participation of all those involved. You will have formed a team at the start of this course and that team will be working through the semester. So this video might give you some useful advice. So, how can a team be successful? These are some of the traits that you will be looking for from within the team. Here is a typical team structure. You are advised to appoint a leader, a recorder, someone looking at quality and the remaining team members. We will look at these in turn. The leader will organise the team so that the job gets done by the time that's set. Team leaders will want continuous improvement. So as the project proceeds, then you will look at progress, you will get the report written, you will get the presentation put together for delivery by the end of the semester. The recorder takes minutes and there is an assignment within this unit where we will just look at what minutes you have taken. A quality advisor is looking at the, the performance of the team and of the individual members and of the reports and presentations that you produce. We will look at your mission, your ground rules and your goals. Ground rules start from day one and usually take the form of a charter that you all sign up to where you agree actions from all members if the team is not performing as you would expect. Here is the cycle. So you are given a challenge, you're given a project to do. As you do that, you are learning, you are responding and you deliver. This is the four step approach. If there is a conflict, you would want that conflict to be resolved as quickly as possible so you can return to a common ground. So in your charter, you would want some reference to this. What do you do if there is conflict? And you would want to bring into play your action plan. The reward for the team that you belong to is to produce the end result. So you will hope that the behaviour of everyone is professional, that everybody does the work that is expected of them and that they work together. So what performance to measure, how to measure it, the rewards and the process. Now there are not monetary rewards as far as the college or Engineers Without Borders is concerned, just the satisfaction of a professionally produced report and presentation and the other assignments are professionally completed. Now recognition we would hope was between team members and recognition 
from your tutor and the college. Here is a little clip that you might like to use when the video is finished. Thank you for your attention.